let's look at this question now. If x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, find the value of the following expression. Cx plus 1 by x whole square plus x square plus 1 by x square whole square plus x cube plus 1 by x cube whole square. I hope when you look at this question, this expression doesn't make you run away from it because the game lies elsewhere. This is a very, very simple expression. This is nothing more than x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 1. As soon as you reach this conclusion, x is equal to 1. Can you see x plus 1 by x is, this is 2 square. x square is 1, 1 by x square is 1. This is 2 square. x cube is 1, 1 by x cube is 1. This is 2 square, so 4 plus 4 plus 4. Answer is 12. This last expression may seem a little weird, but the initial expression is so simple that everything else follows through. Next, find the value of the expression 1 by 8 plus 1 by 1, 800, plus 1 by 8 plus 2 by 800, plus 1 by 8 plus 3 by 800, so on and so forth, up until 1 by 8 plus 750 by 800, where um, these huge brackets is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Hopefully you can see the first portion doesn't really change. What changes is the later latter part. And since from when on do I care about the latter part? I care about the latter part as soon as it starts exceeding 7 by 8. Or I have to start my count from this term. Here on out, every term is going to give me 1. Up until there. 1 plus, sorry, 1 by 8 plus 750 by 800. So from 700 to 750, how many numbers are there? There are 51 numbers. So answer is option C. Next, if the sum of three natural numbers x, y, v is 24, if the product of x minus 3, y plus 2, and z minus 5 is maximum, find the product of x, y, and z. Okay, look at this. Uh, X plus Y plus Z is equal to 24. But we have been told the product of these three terms is equal. So instead of writing X plus Y plus Z, let me write it as X minus 3 and Y plus 2 and Z minus 5. We have introduced a minus 3, a plus 2, a minus 5, a net of minus 6 on the LHS. So there has to be a net of minus 6 on the RHS as well. This is equal to 18. Now this product will be maximized with the sum as 18. If each of these three terms are equal or each of these three terms are equal to 6, 6 and 6, then the product will be maximized. Now if x minus 3 is 6, x is 9. If y plus 2 is 6, y is 4. If z minus 5 is 6, z is 11, all I need is product of these numbers. And even when I'm looking for product of these numbers, I know that they have to be a multiple of 9. So this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. The only one that works is this. You can also multiply this 360 plus 36 or 440 minus 44, whatever way you want to go. The answer or 99 into 4, 396, whichever way you want to go, answer has to be option B. Next, if fx is equal to max of 5x square comma 3x plus 8 for all real values of x, what is the maximum value of fx? Equate them 5x square minus 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. So 5x square minus 8x plus 5x minus 8 is equal to 0. So then we now have... <coughs> x taken out common, 5x minus 8 plus 5x minus 8 is equal to 0. So we either have x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to 8 by 5. 
we've got these two possible values of x these are the points where the straight line and the parabola are intersecting we have to look at the intersection points only when x is equal to minus 1 the two expressions give me 5 and 5 when x is equal to 8 by 5 8 by 5 is 1.6 1 1.6 1 1.6 into 3 is 4.8, 4.8 plus 8 is 12.8. So I get 12.8 and 12.8. Given that I am looking for the minimum value of fx, I am looking for the minimum value of fx, it has to be this 5, option D. Let's go. Last question. If B and C are natural numbers less than 6, how many equations of the form x square minus 2bx plus c has real roots? If we are looking for real roots, we are looking for b square minus 4ac to be greater than or equal to 0. a here is 1 and b here is 2b. Let's write this as 4b square minus 4ac. a is 1 or b square minus c has to be greater than or equal to 0. So let me just fill out the cases. When b is equal to 1, c can only be equal to 1. When b is equal to 2, c can be equal to 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. When b is equal to 3, c can only be equal to 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. It cannot go beyond this because you are told these numbers are less than 6. When b is equal to 4, the same five cases will repeat. When b is equal to 5, the same five cases will repeat. So I have 5 from here, 5 from here, 5 from here, 4 from here, 1 from here. Altogether, we have 20 cases. So answer has to be option D. That will be all for this episode. I hope you learned something. That will be all. Okay, bye.